Here we are in Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Right now we're walking through the organic Turkish market that they had just assembled not too long ago, last, within the last few days. I'm here on a study abroad trip and I'll be here for two months. I've only been here for three days so far, so I'll do my best to explain what you're seeing. So this is the Turkish market here. You see a lot of jam, a lot of uh, chocolate, and over to the right here is the BBI Center, which is one of their malls, not their biggest. And you'll see Al Jazeera TV. Walk across the street here. We're heading to Baschasia. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Baschasia. And that is just up ahead. It's hard to see, but many of these buildings still have bullet holes in them from the Yugoslav War. See a McDonald's here, which I believe they call Big Mac. It's quite fancy. It's like an actual cafe. Few minutes away from Baschasia. I believe this is the National Library. I very well could be mistaken. I know it was burned during the Yugoslav War, so I'm not entirely sure if it's been restored or not.
right before we enter Bastiasia, there is an eternal flame dedicated to those who liberated Sarajevo after World War II. Yes. Okay, now we enter Bastiasia. Which I think is two words, two Turkish words, meaning main, bash, and then chatsia, which is market, so main market. I'm only gonna go down one section because it's ridiculously large. I'm just gonna stay down this section here. There's so many different alleyways, which have quite a few cafes, as you can see here. Drinking coffee is like a national pastime here. You sit down with a cup of coffee and you're there for three hours. There are many stray dogs in Sarajevo. That being one of them. Take a quick walk in the park. It's right, just right here. Looks like they've added some tents since I was here yesterday. So we'll take a look real quick because it's pretty cool in there. This must be an extension of the Turkish market because you see a lot of the same food. Yeah, this had to be set up yesterday. A lot of statues around here. I believe this gentleman was Mes Mesa Salmovic. Mescha. I think he was an author who won a Nobel Prize, if I'm not mistaken. But here we have a game of chess going on. All dudes. All dudes. Some more statues behind those tents. Officers weren't too bad looking. Some of the women here are pretty 
pretty spectacular. Oh, we also just passed um, the University of Sarajevo, I believe it was a school of economics. I think this was the first Orthodox church built in Sarajevo. Swedish Embassy. This is where we get into all the little shops. In tiny alleyways. They say if you drink this water, it's coming from this mosque, you will come back to Sarajevo. I, I drank it the other day and I'm pretty sure it gave me the shits. I 
I think this is the first mosque set up in Sarajevo. Some MC Hammer pants right over there. Definitely coming back and buying some. This is really the end for me. There's just so much more. There's about a ridiculous amount of alleyways. Endless amount of stores. Other tiny niche areas. I'm just gonna turn left over here and you can see Sibyl. And then I'll be off to my apartment. Some good kebab right over here. There. So this is this is a bee. I guess there used to be about 300 of these. And there's only one left. This one. Just all the stray dogs over here. They also call this Pigeon Park, apparently. There's usually a lot more pigeons than this. Now we begin the treacherous walk up this hill. A lot of other small niche places, hookah around here, a lot of metal shops. My study abroad classmates, they yell at me for petting all the cats. She can't blame me though.
All right, I'm here.